Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker and Republican challenger Darren Bailey squared off in their final debate last night. Our political editor Mark Maxwell recaps the hour-long contest that featured insults, interruptions, and a heated exchange over race and gender in the classroom. Can we not have interruptions? In a contentious debate, Governor J.B. Pritzker and Republican challenger Darren Bailey sparred over root causes of crime. Voters, the people to have to, to know that you're we lying have to, to them. And I've got a new name for Chicago. I'm going to call it Pritzkerville. Chicago is the nightmare called Pritzkerville. Darren Bailey just showed you that he has no plan to address crime in Chicago. He wants to throw Chicago out of Illinois, calls it a hellhole. Moderators asked Bailey what Black Lives Matter means to him. It means that every life matters. And unfortunately, J.B. Pritzker, during his four years in office, has created so much division and hate in this state with, with racial ideas and ideology. Senator, do you have a specific um, example of his racial ideology? Well, the simple fact that this all started when he didn't control the crime in the early days of the corruption and, the, and some of the stuff that was taking place in Chicago. Darren Bailey has surrounded himself with racist, misogynistic, homophobic, xenophobic people and organizations, including chasing after the chief among them, Donald Trump. His gender issues are so extreme, he tried to inject them in our schools. He shouldn't be let anywhere near education policy or education funding. He runs a school that teaches kids that women are inferior to men, that oh, slave owners Governor Pritzker, were now that's too far. I'm not going to tell you again not to interrupt. That's too far. Now, I don't know of where that's at, if it was ever in that curriculum, but it is J.B. Pritzker who's bringing correct CRT issues and cultural issues into our schools. CRT is not taught in schools in Illinois. It just is not. He's making that up. Mark Maxwell, five on your side. The general election is just a few weeks away on November 8th, but in Illinois, you don't have to wait. Early voting is underway now.